Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my Lush order I placed on March 14th. This makes it my 62nd haul. For this order, I spent £104.30. So let's start off with the Community Favors exclusives. This is Yuzu and Cocoa Shower Jelly. On the top of the lid, it says, Indulge in Decadent Chocolate Orange Scented Lathers. On the front of the container, it says, if you're after an uplifting shower in the morning, Yuzu won't be able to get enough of this brightening jelly. This has Yuzu Pill Infusion, which is a sour Japanese citrus fruit, carrageenan extract, cocoa absolute, bergamot oil, grapefruit oil, and tonka absolute. This has a marmalade orange color with creamy white swirls, and this has been toted as smelling like a chocolate orange, which makes me think of Terry's chocolate orange that you get during Christmas but it doesn't smell like that. The citrusy yuzu is definitely coming through more strongly than the other ingredients, but you can detect the sweet cocoa and tonka weaving through it. They no longer sell the shower gel in the scent, so it's nice to have the shower jelly. This was made by Marson, so thank you, Marson. This is 29 High Street Shower Jelly, and on the top of the lid, it says zesty lemon and lime, floral ylang ylang and jasmine, warm tonka and sandalwood. Ooh, it's right up your street. On the front of the container, it says, Be transported to where it all began as they lather up with this limited edition jelly created to smell just like a Lush shop. This has red henna infusion, organic extra virgin olive oil, ylang ylang oil, jasmine absolute, wheat germ oil, organic jojoba oil, almond oil, organic Brazil nut oil, extra virgin coconut oil, organic hemp oil, soya oil, and castor oil. This has an orangey brown color to it, kind of like a dark honey color. The scent is supposed to smell like Lush, as if you're walking into a Lush shop, and it's supposed to incorporate all those scents into this one shower jelly. And I want to say, when I had this scent in the shower gel form, I didn't think it really smelled like a Lush shop, but smelling this, it does remind me of Lush. It's predominantly a floral scent, but it also smells powdery, and sweet and citrusy and warm. I may be biased because I love Lush, but this really does have a lovely floral scent and that is coming from someone who doesn't particularly care for that scent profile. This was made by Scott, so thank you, Scott. This is the last shower jelly and this is called Calacus. And on the top of the lid, it says, reviving lime oil lathers will coax your senses back into the mortal realm. On the front of the container, it says, be the lime and soul of the party, thanks to uplifting neroli lathers that will rouse your senses and bring you back to life. This has fair trade organic aloe vera gel, carrageenan extract, lime oil, olibidum oil, and neroli oil. This smells so good. It has a really lovely citrus scent. I really like how sweet and tangy it is. And I also love the green color too. If you're a fan of citrus scents, this is definitely one I would recommend for sure. This was made by Ben, so thank you, Ben. This is a Lush Labs product, and I ended up getting two of the Valkyrie conditioners, one for myself and one for my sister, who adores the scent, and I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at what it says on the front of the bottle. Heavenly hydration to revive chemically damaged hair. Switch up your styles with this priming conditioner packed full of protein-rich aquafaba to strengthen and shine enhancing grapefruit juice. It keeps it from being tangled, um, it softens your hair, it moisturizes it, and makes it feel really silky. This has chickpea cream, organic extra virgin olive oil, fresh grapefruit juice, rose absolute, rose oil, geranium oil, Sicilian lemon oil, and aquafaba. The color is baby pink and it has this wonderful rose jam scent. It's rich and sweet, it's very rosy as well, it's quite strong and heavy. And here's a close-up of it coming out of the bottle. Does it look really gross to you guys? Look at that. Boop. Out. In. Out. In. This was made by Maria, so thank you, Maria. This is also a Lush Labs product, and this one is called Candy Rain Conditioner. On the front of the container, it says, Dance in the candy-coated rain with this intense, sweet conditioning treat for thirsty hair. And this is for making your hair feel sleek, smooth, and shiny. This has cashew cream, Brazil nut milk, coconut cream, macadamia nut milk, 
extra virgin coconut oil, macadamia nut oil, Brazil nut oil, rainwater, buchu oil, tonko absolute, cocoa absolute, and almond essential oil. The color of this is cream, and here it is coming out and going back in and coming back out. Yes, I'm having fun with this. I have to say, I was very surprised by the scent. I mean, it does say on the front of the container that it has this candy sweet scent, and it definitely has that gourmand scent to it. I think that's what surprised me because I just wasn't expecting it at all. Um, it does have a caramel-like scent that reminds me a little bit of the Yognog scent. It's also creamy and what I thought was a hint of grass was more likely a smidgen of smokiness as if the caramel was just starting to get that burnt smell. This was made by Maria, so thank you Maria. This is carrot shower oil and this is from the Easter line. This is a stylized carrot, but it looks more like a light orange teardrop. It has the same shape as all the shower oils currently available at Lush. Tied on the top over here is the green raffia made to mimic the stem and leaves. And this is how thick it is. It's pretty thick. You would use this on your body after you shower while your skin is still wet. And you would then rinse it off. And it would leave this sort of barrier on your skin to keep it soft and smooth. And this is something I would use if I'm too lazy to apply lotion afterwards. This has fair trade organic cocoa butter, fresh carrot extracted in sunflower oil, fair trade shea butter, sunflower wax, cold pressed carrot seed oil, organic almond butter, fresh orange juice, sandalwood oil, grapefruit oil, geranium oil, and paprika oil or resin. This has a sweet, bright, citrusy scent with underlying earthy and floral notes that lend a bit of warmth to it. So this is from the Easter line. On the left is a Cocoa Sugar Scrub Buddy Scrub in brown, and then we have the Cocoa Sugar Scrub Buddy Scrub in white to the right. So these bunnies look a little bit surprised. They have these bugged out eyes and this little O-shaped mouth, you know, as if they just got caught stealing carrots or something. And they have these cute little noses. I want to say they're heart-shaped, but they're probably not. I like to think they are, though. Looking at from the side, it looks like it's shaped into a bee. They both have different scents, though. The one on the left, the brown one, has a cocoa scent. Um, it's not that sweet chocolate candy bar you wish it was. And it also has that floral bit thrown in there with a bit of sharpness as well. This has granulated sugar, potato starch, cocoa powder, vanilla absolute, mimosa absolute, cocoa absolute, fair trade Colombian cocoa butter, and aloe vera extract. The white bunny smells kind of like the fur scent or the salted coconut scent. It's quite mild and earthy, and it's definitely not going to be a popular scent for most people, at least I think so. It has granulated sugar, potato starch, vanilla absolute, vetiver oil, benzoin resinoid, coconut flour, and organic virgin coconut oil. For my samples, I received Brave mouthwash tabs, Creme de Menthe mouthwash tabs, Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster mouthwash tabs, Lime White toothy tabs, and Dirty toothy tabs. Here's one last look at Lush Hole number 62. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram. Other than, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye everyone!